Well, I just uh, first of all, I have to really appreciate uh, uh, my teammates. You know, they put me in a great position. Um, it, it's, it was so much fun last conference to, to play with them and to fight with them. And um, uh, you know, without this is more like I feel like a team award than, than it is anything else. And I'm really just thankful to the coach, um, to my coach uh, in Northport and um, to, to my teammates that, that it worked out and, and that's, yeah, I'm honored, I'm honored. Well, obviously uh, your first uh, big individual award here in the, in the CPA uh, yes. service here, an inspiration for you to go even further in this? I don't think uh, a personal award should 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 give you inspiration to to, to work harder. You know, I, I think every player um, works as hard as he can to to help the team succeed and to help his teammate uh, to help to put himself and his teammates in a good position for maybe a good contract and also give back to the fans uh, from that club. So um, um, no, it doesn't. But I. I'm honored. I'm honored, but uh, it does not change my inspiration or better it because it was already up there before I got this award. Your role was a lot different with uh, yes. Sport compared to uh, San Miguel, and obviously you took that and really ruined that opportunity. Could you give us a little sneak peek of what it was like adjusting to that role and becoming the BBC? Well, when I got here, right, uh, I, I, San Miguel got me, uh, San, San Miguel Beerman, and I told, I think I told you guys, I told the press, hey, this team has so many good scorers, there's nothing much I can do. I have to try to fit in and I try, try to adjust and put myself and become that player who can help that team win the most. And I, and I did that. I played defense, I tried to rebound, I tried to, to be, you know, I'm playing my role in San Miguel. Uh, I think I did that and I think. I'm one little part of why we won those two championships while I was there. And then I got traded to uh, Northport. Obviously, I would have been honored to have the chance to get the Grand Slam, but I got traded, and that's the business. And then I, um, now I had to adjust again. I had to change myself as a player, as my role, because in Northport, you needed a little bit more scoring right, from me. So I did that, and I'm happy that it worked out as much as it did. I'm obviously unhappy that we couldn't make the finals, but um, I think all of us, we know what we need to improve on. I know what I need to improve on and to come together as a team better and um, become, uh, become the team that we really can be. No. No, I, yeah. I would like to think that way, but that's just not it. Like, you know, a championship is so much more than, than a personal award or like, I will rename it as like team award. Um, but um, yeah, if, if you, I, I take 10 of them and then I exchange it for one championship. Um, but that doesn't take away from the fact that I am really honored to, to, to get this award and um, to everybody involved, like starting from the coaches, starting from my family, starting from the people that I surrounded myself and that I love, going through uh, uh, coach Francis Chua that even after the trade he still gave me guidance and helped me out to figure certain things which I appreciate and will always appreciate. So, so there, and, and my teammates of course, and there a lot of things, a lot of people were part of this this award, and I'm really just appreciated that I'm surrounded by so many amazing, great people, and 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 really from the bottom of my heart grateful. You're transferred to Northport. Yes. Uh, and better winning games. We are supposed to raise the field enough for you to help you and give him the little bit of water. Um, of course, you know, like I think you make it under the top five. If you have a certain amount of stats, you know, obviously a guy who plays 40 minutes, <coughs> it's easier to score 20 points a game than when you play 10 or 15 minutes. So, of course, it does play a role. Um, but, you know, everybody, I think a lot of guys did it already that did not have that much playing time and still get the award. So, so everything is possible. But I, w I would lie and 
Uh, I would lie if I say that it would not play a role. It plays a role because you accumulate more stats and you can show more people in a long amount of time that you're a good player. Plus, you can uh, help you carry your team a little bit more in, this, in the stats that are important to calculate in, like setting good screens. There's no stat for it, unfortunately. We are so you know? Not at all. That's the unexpected. This is completely unexpected. Uh, I was surprised that I was even nominated, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, it's it's comp like I, one of you guys is. I'm not gonna name his. Uh, I'm not gonna na uh, tell you guys his name, but one of the press guys said, "Hey, you might be in the run for it," and I was like, "That's like uh, that's very, that doesn't make sense, you know." But um, and that he did that like one month ago, or one and a half months ago. But now I own him dinner. But um, so, so it was completely unexpected. I'm really surprised that, uh, that I got that, but I'm honored and appreciated. But I don't, I don't forget or like, I will not, like it's, we can't forget that this is a team effort and not only Northport team, also the people that I surround myself in my day-to-day uh, -day life. Uh, long break for next season, yes. but then uh, you have national team duties as well. Uh, what do you yes. think you need to work on to make sure that uh, not only do you have another shot at winning another BPC, but you elevate North Port to the next level? I mean, I to try to make some free throws, but don't tell anybody. It might, might, might be not bad to get a left hand too, but um, uh, I, I'm working on those things, and all I can do is just put the time in and try to do my best, you know, and that's. All the young players that come to me ask me, you know, how, how do we deal with the pressure? Because if you have a bad game, that's bad, right? If you have four bad games, that's bad, not only for the team, but also for you personally, because you make your money, you make your money with, with playing basketball. There comes a lot of pressures that, that guys from college, they don't expect. It's like, out of nowhere, it's not only fun and games. Out of nowhere, there's actually real pressure to make a basket or to play good defense. So, um, so, but I told him, as long as you give your best and then whatever outcome it is, you can deal with it, right? I mean, I tell you guys, I'm shooting free throws all day long now, but um, if, if it doesn't fly in, it doesn't fly in, but at least I know I put the effort in, um, including my left hand, I'm working on my left hand. So I think what I need to really, I'm, I'm really working on is my jump shot, my left hand and my free throws. To be honest with you, I'm, I don't know if you, I, I, there's a lot of things that I should work on and I, I need to work on, but um, I'm, I was lucky so far that I was able to compensate with my hustle and with my puso um, and still somehow like were affecting my, the teams that I played for in, in the positive way of, of, of winning games. Question, guys. Thanks. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys. Appreciate it.